Hello everyone, good afternoon. Samantha Shriver, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, coming to you today with a watercolor card using the Simply Succulents bundle. Let's see. The colors that we'll be using today will be Rich Razzleberry, Old Olive, Granny Apple Green, and Smoky Slate. I'm going to start with our Granny Apple Green first. I'm going to take my black ink and I'm going to ink up the largest succulent first. Put that right there. Nope, that's a horrible, horrible image. That did not work well. Let's try that again. I don't think I press down good enough on that one. Okay, that's much better. Then we're going to take our little succulent, stamp that right there, and we're going to take our watercolor pen and get some of that water out. Usually I let this dry first, so I'm not sure if it's going to run at all, but we're just going to color in our image with some of the water. And then I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green, and what I do when I am um, watercoloring is I stamp some on the block, and then I pull it off with a clear block. So I'm going to take some of the ink and add it in. And I find that when you put the water down first, it just moves on the paper a lot easier. I'm just going to color this in. I'm going to do the whole thing in Granny Apple Green. Let's see. Make that a little darker. Then when that dries a little bit, I'm going to color in this next image. Lay down some water. And then pull more of the green off. Okay, then I am going to go back to the other image and add some dark around the edge of the leaves just to give it some more dimension and color. Okay, so now we've got this and it's got a little more dimension and color to it, which I like. This is the time consuming part, but it does come out really nice. You just have to have some patience. I find it very calming and relaxing, so. I may have to add a little more color. Okay, now that has a little more color and dimension to it. Our 
our next color is going to be our Rich Razzleberry. I'm just going to clean, squeeze, and wipe till the color is clean. And then I'll grab this block, put some Rich Razzleberry on it. what? I completely forgot to put my water down first. That's okay. You can see what it's like when you put it down and when you don't put it down. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't spread as easy. And the color is not as consistent. Like it's darker when you first start. And then obviously it gets lighter as you're losing some of that color. So I feel like with this one, oh, we still are okay. We're still able to get some of these darker lines put in. to give it a little a little more make it stand out a little more I won't do all of these I have a finished one but I just wanted to do a little of each to show you just how I've been doing it and I'm very new to watercoloring this is only like my third time doing it so I know that I still have like a lot of technique to learn I just think it's fun and relaxing, so I like doing it. So the last color that I use, so let me run this clean, is the Old Olive. And for the Old Olive, I just used it on these little succulents on the bottom. Oops, wrong color. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to put some water on this first for these ones. Just makes it a lot easier. And the color just comes lighter off of the brush when you do the water first. And I like that because I like coming back in and adding the darker. And while we were able to do that with the rich raspberry, I just feel like it's easier to add the darker when it comes off lighter from the brush the first time. All right. Let's add some dark on some of these leaves. And I just choose a couple and throw in some darker areas. I just like the effect that it gives you with the light and the dark. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. Put all this out of my way. And then I'm going to bring in the ones that I have already completed. I'm also using the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder with the Rich Razzleberry Paper. I just want to get some of 
this stuff out of my way. So first let's make our card base. I'm going to take my 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and cut it at 5.5. take my card base, fold it in half, and then just use my folder to smooth down the edges. Then our rich raspberry paper, which I cut at five and a quarter by four, we're going to layer on top. Unfortunately, that's the only adhesive that I have at the moment to use on this. So we're just going to stick our layer onto the card. Then the next fun piece that we're going to be doing is we are going to be using the blending brushes with the Rich Razzleberry. And I took this die out of the um, Simply Succulents bundle and I already cut it out. I'm going to take this piece of paper and then I have my rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly. I use the largest rectangle in the set. I'm going to place that on top of my paper and then I'm going to put this design on top. Maybe put it here and then I'm just going to use some washi to hold it down some washi tape I'm just making sure not to cover up any of the the ends of the die that's underneath I don't want those not to get ink okay so we have our rich razzleberry and our blending brushes and these if you haven't seen them they are so incredibly soft I love them I'm just going to take my brush and put it on my ink pad and then slowly blend the color on top of that stencil. It's very, very easy to do. So once that's done and fully covered, I'm going to go in and make some areas darker. I'm going to make the middle section a little darker. So I won't wipe off the brush um, down here before I do this. I'm just going to go right in. The same thing with the corners, the very edges. Just to give it some dimension and different colors and different areas. Okay, and I did have, I don't know where I put it, okay, we're going to take this off, I thought I had one that was already completed that I was going to show you but I'm not quite sure where I put it. I feel like this one, um, I didn't tape down as much, so it did get some areas that were a little fuzzy. So, you know what? I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so we're just gonna do it again. I'm just going to try to hold this down a little bit better. Usually I put more washi tape down, and this time I didn't. I should have used more. And 
and then we'll do the same. We'll come in in the middle. Add some more color. Come in on the ends. And we're going to pull this up. Okay, that one looks perfect. Much, much happier with that one. So we're going to take our card and our card base. And I'm going to adhere this down to the top. Next, we can take our pot and we can use our smoky slate. And we're just going to stamp that pot image. I have one that I already cut out for us. I'm going to adhere this first. Not my favorite adhesive roller at the moment. It's not cooperating on camera. All right, I'm gonna put that down first. Then I'm gonna take my um, watercolored large succulent. You could tell I restamped that one as well. <laughs> it's the best thing. It doesn't work out. You just flip it over and you try it again. So this, I'm going to put right on top of that pot. I like to line it up with the edge. Alright, perfect. And then our little succulent. I just need to find where I put my dimensionals. Which I just had and I can't find but I have some more these are mini oh here's the large ones okay so I'm gonna take my large dimensionals and I'll just use two and then I'm gonna pop this one up right there just to give it a little dimension Okay, next we're going to take our Thinks um, stamp out of our Simply Succulent stamp set. I'm going to put that on the block. And then I have this little, oh, oh we can use the, no. That one got ink on it. Our little um, label. And that did come out of the Simply Succulents bundle. I love this set because it has a lot of nice um, stitch labels that come in it. We're going to take that, our Rich Razzleberry. And then just stamp our thanks right on our label. That one didn't come out as perfect as I'd like, um, but I do have another one. And then this one I already did add some adhesive to the back of. I'm going to stick this in the corner. And then that's our Simply Succulents card. I did end up um, adding some Wink of Stella to this. I just added it um, along the edges of all of the petals. It just gives it some glimmer. 
little bit of sparkle. I'm not sure if you can even see it or not on the camera. I bet this would look really pretty on the Razzleberry. I just only used it on the um, succulent that was popped up. So that's our card for today. I really enjoyed um, using the watercolors and the blending brushes both on this card. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you can just hit the like button and the subscribe bell on my YouTube channel, whenever I uh, make any videos, you'll be alerted that they've been posted. I would really appreciate it. And I will um, post all of my contact information below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care.